Hi, I am Chibi K from Middlesex University and in this video I will show you how to set up the audio ports on the ADB IRB120 using the IRC5 compact controller. To do this, ensure that your robot is turned on and that your laptop is connected to the controller using the X2 Ethernet port on the controller. Then, on your laptop, launch Robot Studio and create an empty station. In Robot Studio, navigate to the controller tab and use the Add Controller drop down to select the one click connect option. Once this has been loaded, request right access to the controller and click on the grant button displayed on the flex pendant. Once this request has been accepted, use the configuration button, the drop down configuration button and select the IO system button. Then double click on the device net device and right click to create a new device. Using the drop down next to the template option, select the DSQ 651 Combi IO device and set the address to 10, set the product ID to 75, the product code to 26, the device type to 7, the connection output size to 2, the connection input size to 2 and select the OK button. Then click on the signal option and right click to create a new signal. So we will have to add signals for each of the IO um, pots that we would need to use. So I'm going to create two signals. I'll create an input signal and I'll create an output signal. For the first, I'll create an input signal, which is of type digital input and will be assigned to the device we created earlier. I'll give a device mapping of zero and set the access level to all. Then I'll create a new signal, but this time it would be an output signal. Also mapped to the device we selected earlier. After creating the signals you need, go to the top section of your of Robot Studio, ensure that you're still in the um, controller tab, and select the drop down from the release button, from the restart button, and restart your controller. <laughs> The controller has restarted. You have to request the right access again. After this has been granted on the flex pendant, use the drop down on the IO system bot option to select the device net we added. You should see the signals you added earlier. You can now turn on your power supply. and you should be able to test the output. As you can see, toggling the initial output toggles the first LED on my IO simulator. And likewise, Toggling the button on my IO simulator toggles the input signal on the um, controller. 
So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.